Our science curriculum is taught throughout the year, um, but what we do is we look for really good links through the curriculum with other subjects. An example where we make really great links is in year five, where the pupils will be learning about forces in science through investigation, through practical activities, and then the theory and the concepts behind forces. And this helps to answer an overall question that the pupils have been posed at the start of their STEM term, which is, how can I make it faster? In other subjects, for example, design and technology, the pupils will be using their learning and their investigations about forces uh, in order to help their design process uh, where they're making a car. In the art department, STEM projects begin with real life resources. The children draw on real life examples, um, investigating how a product works, how it's constructed, the materials that have been used. We have projects that run from pneumatics, the children in year three make moving monsters, to um, year four, the children incorporate cam mechanisms to create a moving toy. In year five the children um, apply their knowledge of aerodynamics taken from science and design a moving vehicle on the theme of how can I make it go faster. At Headington Prep in Key Stage 1 we really focus on the girls foundations in maths so they get daily sessions where we really work on their problem solving, reasoning as well as just their arithmetic. In Key Stage 2 we start to run STEM projects which allow the girls to use all the maths that they've learnt in previous years and start to bring maths alive. Our girls have weekly computing lessons and they're taught to be creative, they're taught to collaborate um, all the way from nursery where they're programming toys uh, through year four currently programming robotic arms and year six have been busy programming micro bits and using the Flowlab programming language. Moving forward, we really hope that this cross-curricular learning can help the girls flourish in their later lives.